Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to be doing data logs into Boo. So what I'm going to do at the start is I'm gonna pull it into second gear, bring it down to a low RPM, and then give it the juice. Give it um, probably 100% throttle, if not like 80, very close to 100. Watch my air fuels and my boost. So as soon as it goes into boost, I wanna see it starting to get richer and I'm gonna keep an eye out for that. And after I'm done the pull, I'm not gonna go to redline either. I'm gonna go to maybe 5,000 RPM, check the log, make sure things are cool, make some adjustments, and then keep going up in the pulls as that I um, go on with higher boost and more load. All right, I'm gonna get a data log going. If you didn't see my last episode, definitely check it out. So I'm gonna name this one log four. Yeah, if you didn't see my last episode, this won't really make sense to you on how to data log, but in the third episode, I show you how to data log. So definitely check that out. It's easy, quick. You just gotta download the programs and I give you a good walkthrough. Okay, I'm gonna start the log. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just get it to a place where I can put it in second gear, I'm in second gear, and then floor it. Okay, I thought it got a little bit lean there. I'm definitely gonna have to check that log. All right, I'm gonna open my log, log four. What I'm looking for is the yellow to go up because I did give it 100%. And as you can see right here, she goes right up there. So I'm at 100%. Now I can just go cell for cell across here. So anything over 100 is boost, okay? So now we're, we want to start seeing it more rich. And right now it's not. So it's at 14.7. 14.5 now it's starting to climb okay so where did it go lean so right now that's at 14.5 so I'm backtracking until it, it actually was at a proper air fuel so it's looking like right about here right when I thro full throttle it it didn't go lean enough or rich enough so I'm at 13.7 14.5 so I'm thinking something like that needs adjusted so I'm gonna go along here 14.5 14.6 14 14.2 14 13.7 13.4 okay so I just need to do these two cells I'm gonna add 10% And then I'm gonna go to the cells beside. So I'm multiplying by 1.10, that'll get me 10%. And then I'm going to multiply the ones on the side right here by also 5%. Because they it was in the 13s. So I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna multiply it by 4% and we'll try that. So once you've made changes to the fuel map in the actual data logging program, you can hit save and then you go back to your tuner studio and it will tell you that there's been changes made and then you just hit yes. All right, I made some changes, so I'm just gonna go do another log. Okay, I'm gonna get a log going, call it log five. Honestly, the last run wasn't terrible, but it was kind of going the opposite way it should have been. It was going rich, then lean, and you wanted the exact opposite of that, so. For low boost, like five pounds of boost, you can be in the 13s because it's not really anything crazy, but I'd like to be a little bit closer to the 12s for that, because honestly, I'm not running a lot of boost, but. Okay, I'm in second gear. I'm just gonna wait till I have a chance. Okay, their fuels went to 
seven once I was in full boost. So that was pretty good. So I'm gonna go take a look at that log. Okay, opening mega log viewer again. Log five. Waiting till I see a high yellow line, which is the actual TPS. Boom, there's there's 100% throttle. So I'm just gonna cruise through here. Right away, as soon as I went to 12, or um, full throttle there, it went to 12.7. 12 12.9. 12 13.0. So, as of right there, as soon as I mounted it, it's running a little rich because I'm only at 100 kPa, which is basically zero pounds of boost. So, so right here, I'm gonna take a touch out. So, basically, right here, as soon as it's full throttle, it's at 12.7. So I'm gonna highlight where I'm at here. Go on until it's lean. So basically, it goes to 13.0 there. That's not bad. So I'm gonna just take out some fuel there. I'm gonna take up 5%. Okay, so I have to multiply it by 0.95. So and then that's gonna take out 5%. So now we're 103 kPa, 106, 789. We're at 12.5, 12, 12.7. 12, then it goes up to 13. So we've got quite a little bit of a blip there. I kind of want to be into the 12. So right there, it's at 13.0. So to bring it to everything else, I'd have to just add a touch of fuel. I'm gonna add 4%. One point. Zero four. Moving along. Thirteen four, thirteen five, twelve four, twelve three, twelve. Then it starts dropping to eleven. That's at one forty six kPa. So in K or in boost, that would be seven psi right there, and that just crunched it down to 11.1 so that's a lot of fuel that's too much too much i don't need that much oh it even went down to 10.4 so i'm gonna take out some fuel there then click save all right i'm gonna do another log i'm gonna name it log six okay low rpm and then just to the mat A very low rpm and i was just at 16.4 on the air fuel so that definitely needs more fuel it wasn't at any sort of load like it was just at 100 kpa but that definitely needs more fuel Multiply that by 12%, I think. Multiply that by 12%. 1.12. Continue going on here. And then add a little bit more here. Yeah, that's at 15. That's no good. I'm just going to try and do those three at 5%. 13.7, 13.7, 13.7, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13
13, 4, 13, 3, 13, 2, 13, 2, 13, 0. Honestly, it's looking pretty good here. Just seeing low 13s all the way across until red line where it goes really, really rich. <laughs> All right, that's it for this episode. I hope you learned something there about data logging. This thing is running real good now. I just got a little bit of fine tuning to do and then I should be good to go. All right, like, comment, subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. This is usually fairly frightening.